Wuhan Jiao Xing lay down Taiwan. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm totally addicted to this bubble tea since I've come back. Since you guys have come along so far with me on this trip, let me just share something endodontic related from the presentation with you too. I not only focus on the procedures related to root canal therapy, but also we focus on ways to avoid root canal therapy, using a term that Dr. Koch and I have coined here at Rebuild Endo, we call preventive endodontics. We all know that the best root canal filling material is the dental pulp. So avoiding root canal therapy should always remain our main priority. So in cases where a preoperative diagnosis of reversible pulpitis has been established using thorough clinical testing, removal of all caries and placement of a pure bioceramic like the BC cements or putty against the pulp surface followed by coverage of this material with a dual cure liner like the BC liner allows time to observe the tooth and make sure that the pulp can recover from its original source of inflammation. This is a quick procedure like the old caries control using IRM, but we're now using more biocompatible modern materials like the bioceramics. The tooth is observed for eight weeks, and if all symptoms are resolved, a two millimeter decomposite is then bonded over the liner, which is going to be used then as base. In cases of reversible pulpitis, and when combined with proper case selection, this approach will help save the pulp and hopefully prevent root canal therapy. All right, so here our journey begins, heading out to the airport. It's almost midnight now here at Boston time. It's going to be a long flight from Boston to Hong Kong and then off to uh, Taipei. One of the advantages of a very late night flight is the fact there's nobody at the airport. The airport's almost empty. Look at this. <laughs> Look who's here. What big surprise. How's it going? Good evening, everybody. So I was invited to give a talk in Taipei and Taichung and decided to go on this trip with my friend and colleague, Dr. Jarshan Lin. We started in Boston and took an 18 hour flight overnight from Boston to Hong Kong. Got pretty good sleep there on the plane? I uh, know, I just get ready to present with Prince Ali. I'm very nervous with Prince <laughs> Ali. <laughs> it's so cool, I wish we had a place like this back in Boston just to hang out. <laughs> Finally arrived. All right, 9:50 in the morning. Hi, how are you? Hi. After taking the train to Taichung and enjoying some local specialty bubble tea. I met with some sponsors over lunch, Dr. Trunkai Lin, Dr. Chen, and several local endodontists like Dr. Amy Lin. I then had a chance to visit several of the local clinics and was very impressed with the quality of the amenities in these facilities. At the AS Design and Education Center, I was asked to sign and share a thought on the wall of the lecture room. I shared one of my favorite quotes by George Bernard Shaw, the reasonable man conforms to the world. The unreasonable man makes the world conform to him. Therefore, all progress is made by the unreasonable man. Of course, I'm a reasonable man myself. After visiting a few facilities, it was time to check into the hotel and recover for the almost 30 hour trip and get ready for the all day presentation the following day. Well, one thing I can tell you is that the hospitality is without a doubt incredible. All right, 
All right, so I'm morning of the presentation and I'm heading out, making sure I don't leave anything behind. It should be fun. And uh, just found out that they don't have the proper connector for my Mac, which is a perennial problem with these Macs and the projectors. But uh, I'm hoping that somehow we can figure this out and uh, get this thing done. All right, let's go to the presentation. Most uh, brunches. <laughs> I'm only getting some banana bread. Endo, uh, fans here. Uh, look pretty much every video, <laughs> everything, like have the uh, notification on every time on your YouTube channel. Uh, terrific. Well, <laughs> yeah. you know, it's great to be able to reach uh, this far out uh, the world and yeah. kind That's of uh, knowing each other uh, remotely, right? Yes. So this is awesome. Terrific. <laughs> all right. <laughs> and here we got all our gifts. And uh, it's been a great uh, little visit. Tai Chung was a great presentation and had a great time. Lots of lovely people that I got to meet. Uh, it's really a wonderful uh, culture out here in Taiwan. People are just so amazingly kind and uh, hospitable. So, do one more take on this and uh, then we might be heading out to the mountains. Thank you so much. Yeah, this one was a beautiful room, huh? Terrific. It's about a uh, lake out of Taiwan. Starbucks coffee, I'm telling you, the Starbucks stores, even the American stores, are more fun and exciting out here in Taiwan. Once the presentations were over, we flew out to Taroko National Park and had a wonderful visit to this incredible forest with deeply trenched canyons lined by mountains made of marble. River gorges and exquisitely hand-carved caves by the Aborigines and others. We even visited the bunker where World War II kamikaze pilots rested the night before their final mission. That stuff looks like accessory canals inside the Denton. At the end, I'm forever grateful to my hosts and sponsors for this trip. Taiwan Academy of Endodontology, IPAO Clinics, Dense Bly Sorona, and Dr. Xia Chunkai Lin, Jimmy Liu, Dr. Wong, Dr. Amy Lin, Yi Chu, and Chen, and to all the supporting staff, and to my great friend and colleague, Dr. Jarshan Lin. I thoroughly enjoyed myself and truly loved Taiwan. Clicking the baby out. That never works. Look to Yoshi Teruji, where are you to help us how to do this? <laughs> this wonderful trip has finally come to an end. I'm in the Cathay Airline uh, lounge, getting ready for boarding in about 10 minutes, heading back home. And uh, I can tell you that I had such a wonderful time here in uh, Taipei and in Taichung, as well as the Taroko um, National Park. Such wonderful people. It's just a great, great island and uh, wonderful people and hospitality. So anyway, just um, looking forward to uh, head back now and uh, pick up uh, the office and at the school and do all the other stuff uh, that I do, getting back into the routine. So thanks once again to the people of uh, Taiwan. Xie xie. Taijing.